Road to London on 10.30. If you want an update or highlight show, you can watch that after us and they will get you across everything if there's anything that you've missed. Meanwhile, here we get five more goals. That was an amazing game. Rio, what did you make of it? Well, at half-time I was sitting here going, well, what, what was that compared to last <laughs> night? But then second half, they threw up exactly what we had from the night before. So wonderful football, wonderful moments, goals galore. So mm. this competition never ceases to amaze me. Though. It does it every year. Mm. You come into it and you think, oh, what are we going to get? Bang, goals, crazy performances. And, and, and people that come out of the woodwork, these young kids at Barca, mm. they, were, they were tremendous today. You look at the performances of the players at this level, you think it's the experience that gets you through. But sometimes you need that fearlessness of the likes of Kabasi, uh, Yamal coming in and, and playing with her. You think what we were doing at mm. 17, 18 years old, 16 years old, there's no way that we could have gone in there and performed at this level with the, the kind of energy and the, the aura, the, the way the chests were out. I'm meant to be here. It was unreal. Really good to see. Considering they went 1-0 up and then 2-1 down in quick succession mm. in about mm. two minutes, the fight back as well from uh, those youngsters in the team, the subs as well, Crouchy was, was mm. really impressive for Barcelona. Yeah, and even, you know, Petri, well, what's Petri, 21? You know, like, you know, <laughs> he's still a young now. man. Yeah, I mean, he's playing, he's played a lot of games, you know, compared to Mal and, and Kubasi, yeah. of, of course, but... Uh, comes on just a calmness and presence of mind to, to be able to, you know, in, in a pressure cooker of such an intense game, to be able to just put his foot on the ball with one of his first touches and play that ball to Rafinha and yeah. get them back in it. Well, let's take you back to the start then. The first goal came in the first half, just before half-time actually, and Luke, destruction, where you thought, oh my God, this game's completely been tipped on its head and they're going to go and run riot now. Well, you always know at these games, it's, especially the home team, it's not where you 90 minutes of pure poor performance. There's going to come a moment, and that's what Xavi would have been telling his team at halftime. Listen, expect a new, different side to come out of you. They're going to give you a real run for your money, I'm sure, first five minutes, but they didn't expect this. They came out and they just blitzed them. You see there, look at the bodies around the ball initially, really hunting them down, and then this man, plays it eventually comes back to him. It's a great bit of skill. Deceives the, uh, the young will be on his right foot and then it's an absolute rocket out of his left foot. He plays off both feet. I don't know if he knows which foot's better to play a straight pass because you've got, uh, you've got to judge where the goalkeeper is. Mm -hmm. If it's an inch or two too far, the keeper gets it and he runs through. If it's too short, the defender has it, heads it. He's only got really a small window of probably about half a metre to play it in and he gets it absolutely spot on. And to do that cold coming on after 51 seconds, that's just down to pure natural I think he sees minutes. it as well. Like Rafinha doesn't make that run. I think he sees Pedri on the ball and he thinks yeah. he can, he, there's, only, there's only a few people that can play that and he's one of them. Another subs, so that was Pedri in 51 seconds and then Christensen was about 72 seconds seconds mm. this was his first touch and he scores the winner so really Rio a great night for substitutes yeah Xavi has to take credit for that that's what managers are there to do make make good substitutions it's in no messing oh no it's a dreadful penalty